What's up y'all, it's Lane with Circle G. Today I'm gonna be telling you five red and green flags when you're looking to buy a horse. Let's get into it. Red flag number one is a owner that's really vague. If they don't wanna text back or they don't wanna tell you a lot about the horse or they take a long time to respond, sometimes can mean they don't know much about the horse, they just got the horse, or there's something they're trying to hide. That's the first red flag. A green flag would be an owner that's really responsive, provides lots of detail, has videos, and has a backstory of the horse. Tells you most likely the horse has been there a while and can get a good idea of what to expect. I remember one time I had a guy, I was trying to talk to a horse about four hours away. When I reached out to him, he didn't want to send me videos. He said he didn't have time to talk on the phone. That's a big red flag. I didn't even go look at the horse. Red flag number two is a horse that hasn't been owned very long. This sometimes can mean the horse came from a sale. It could mean they're buying and selling it, just trying to flip. Or it could also mean they haven't had the horse very long, but they're getting rid of it because there's an issue. None of those are for sure red flags, but things to think about when you go look at a horse. If people haven't owned a horse very long, they might not know as much about it, and they can't give you as accurate information about it. A green flag would be someone who's owned a horse for a long time. If you go look at a horse they've owned for a year or multiple years, they have a pretty good idea about the horse and a pretty good idea about the history of it. So some things to think about when you're going to look at a horse. Green flag number three is a horse that when you arrive is wet, either sweaty or look like it had been given a bath. One time I went and bought a horse and they would just given it a bath. I came about 30 minutes early and they said, oh, we're just getting them cleaned up for you. Well, we ended up buying him and get him home. And when he found out when he's fresh, he's really fresh and started bucking under saddle. So ended up being a pretty good horse after some riding but just something to think about. A green flag will be when you get there and the horse looks like it hasn't really been touched. Maybe he needs brushed off, out in the pasture, long hair, whatever the case may be, signs that the horse has not been recently worked or that day or the day before is a green flag when you're going to look at buy a horse. Red flag number four is when you go to look at a horse and the horse seems really lethargic. It's slow getting out of the stall, kind of maybe got his head kind of drooped down, not moving very fast. Sometimes that can be a sign the horse has maybe had some drugs or something given to it to calm it down. Uh, something I like to do is kind of check around their eye, and kind of check how responsive they are. You don't want them spooky, but you want them to have bright eyes and be aware of what's going on. So sometimes I'll slide up near the head and just real quick kind of snap and make sure I get a response. That's probably a good sign. A green flag would be when you get there, the horse is bright eyed, horse is pretty responsive, um, quick movements, it's, it's quick to look at, lips aren't sagging down, all things that are a good sign when you go to look at one. The fifth and final red flag is a horse that shows signs of either aggressive training, maybe abuse. Places to look for those would be the corner of their mouth being raw and pink for maybe a harsh bit. Um, spur marks near the belly and the shoulder or maybe someone having to spur them too hard. Um, things like that are good to look for. One time I went to a place and the lady said, oh, the horse is great, super broke. Got on it, rode okay. But as I got off of it, I noticed spur marks and the sides of his mouth were raw. And I asked her about it and she said, oh, we had to do a little training on it yesterday to get ready. That tells me the horse needs a lot more training than they're advertising, or maybe has some issues that need to work through that they're trying to hide. A green flag will be when you get there, the horse doesn't have any signs on their mouth or their body, and the horse presents like it hasn't been overly worked recently. A quick place to check would be right here in the corners of their mouth. As you can see with him, there's no signs of anything there, no, no redness, anything like that. Checking the shoulder, especially here. No spur marks or anything like that. Those are just five things that I personally look for when going to buy a horse. There are many more things to consider. If you'd like to hear more about those, let us know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you want to see our daily content, follow us on all our social media accounts. We'll link them in the description. Till next time.